My darlings, my name is Victoria and this is Veritas Tarot. Thank you for joining me. Um, I am going to do a reading today for those that need to hear it the most. That's what I've asked Spirit. And uh, so my reading will be centered around soulmates and love, uh, but it is messages for those that need to hear it the most. If the reading does resonate, I would be very grateful if you would comment, like, share and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, it simply means these messages weren't for you today, but there will always be messages out there for you, readings out there for you at exactly the right time that you need to hear it. Um, the other thing to announce is that going forward, I'm going to be doing readings for the All Star Signs bi-weekly, not weekly anymore, bi-weekly. And then obviously I'll be doing your monthly readings as well. Uh, this is because doing the weekly, it's very energetically, um, it takes an awful lot from me to do this. And with all of my personal readings as well, I want to ensure that when I give you this time and do these readings for you, it is from the right space. Um, and uh, so this is going to enable me to do that. But it doesn't mean to say I won't be coming on like I am today and doing some ad hoc readings for you um, when Spirit asks me to do so. So you still will get some additional readings, um, you know, in between the bi-weekly readings and the monthly readings for you. I, I do also have two naughty little doggies here who sometimes have a tendency to bark. They're being very quiet at the moment, which is a bit suspicious. And one of them does have a very loud snore. So I do apologize for that if that actually happens during, during this reading. Um, and uh, I'm also still in the midst of giving away uh, up to 40 uh, personal free readings. Now these are one question recorded readings. Um, and all I ask is you subscribe on YouTube in order to send me an email. Uh, the, the information is in the description box below. It's veritastarot1111 at gmail.com. Simply subscribe on YouTube to Veritas Tarot, send me an email, tell me your one question and just let me know your star sign to make sure that all star signs have fair representation. I do still have some um, some of the spaces available for those readings. It was up to 40 and there has been a lovely take up of it. And thank you everybody who has done. You should have all received a message from me, those that have, but those that haven't, you still, if you would like to have a free 15 minute, one question recorded reading, do get in contact with me and let me know what that question is. And I will be doing those readings for you during November. So um, <clears throat> coming back to today, uh, this is a reading for those that need to hear the messages the most. It will be focusing on love, um, on soulmates. Obviously, that includes the relationship you have with your own soul as well. But let's see what messages come out for you. So I'm going to use, be using a combination of cards for you today. And we're going to start with my Golden Art Nouveau Tarot and see where you are in your perceived state of mind at this time. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. For those that need to hear it the most, where are they right now? in their perceived state of mind. Thank you. I wanted to come out. So you've got the Knight of Swords has come out. So there's something that you are really wanting to say at this time. You know, the Knight of Swords, Knights are all about action. And the Knight of Swords, and at the bottom of the deck, I'm seeing the Five of Wands, okay. So I'll come on to that in a minute. But the Knight of Swords is somebody who wants to rush forward. It is with a certain amount of nervousness and speak their truth. You do want to do it from a place of truth because your visor is, is uh, open. So your face is open there. But <clears throat> there is a fear attached to it. And, um, and because you've got the Five of Wands on the bottom of the deck, I feel there has been a great deal of negative energy around you, uh, there's been arguments, there's been things that have just been very upsetting for you that have been happening. And so <clears throat> my, what Spirit is saying is, when you're in that state of mind, what tends to happen, you see swords represent clarity, they do represent truth, but they also represent the conflict within us. And when, we're in, uh, when we are in conflict with ourselves, it is very difficult to speak our truth from that real soul space. Um, and so, when you want to speak your truth, do it from a place of peace, from a place of understanding, from a place of observing. When you rush like this, you don't observe what's around you. And so um, I know you want to take action with something, but this may be a time for you to stand back and pause and reflect. 
and um, I'm going to see what else uh, comes out for this for, for, for where you are right now. So let's have a look at your challenge. And, and also the Knight of Swords is facing the past. So whatever this is, it's, it's, it's you looking and rushing back towards the past because you want to say something. Um, and you're very determined about it, but there is absolutely a fear attached with this too. And remember, fear is just what our, thought, our thoughts create. Fear is false evidence appearing real. So, um, okay, so let's have a look at your challenge at this time. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Your challenge, my darling, is to be the Empress, to be in receiving mode. The Empress is the embodiment of all four of the queens in the tarot. And she is somebody who really has, uh, has come to a place of observing, first of all, just to go back to that observant thing. She's come to a place of silence where she understands and appreciates the value of silence, that silence is a way when it allows you to listen to your soul, to yourself. It allows you to listen to God because God talks to you through your feelings the whole time. When you're in this night of swords, you're not allowing your soul to come through and speak to you because you're not listening. Um, but when you're in this space, this is your challenge to be in this space, to understand that sometimes we don't need to rush forward and do so much in order to achieve what we want to achieve. In fact, it's all about being in the moment. It's all about being grateful. I am, the two most powerful words you can use. I am grateful, I am happy, I am blessed, I am abundant. And allow the universe to come in and give you all of those things. Um, you do, you're, you, there is something that you also are very passionate about. Um, and the universe is saying to you, you, know, you you're very protective of it. Um, and whatever this is, it's in relation to your soulmate or something that brings you great joy, because these, these journeys are about ourselves. It's about getting to know ourselves. It's about understanding who we are um, and not losing ourselves in a relationship with another. So the Empress, you see she's sitting here, she's very protective of this bump. Now you could be pregnant, but for, for a lot of you, this is about you having something that's very precious to you. You're very protective of it. And it's some new venture, something that's lovely. Um, with the Empress, she's very grounded. She allows things to flow in that natural, universal um, speed. Um, and you can see the difference between the two here. So this is where spirit wants you to focus on to go more into that receiving mode understanding as above down below understanding that whatever wishes and hopes you have they've already manifested you just haven't seen it the universe always says yes always but in order for those manifestations to come in sometimes you have to get out of the way of them and so i just put my light back on sometimes you have to get out of the way of them and all you have to do is trust and have faith and allow the universe to do what it does so beautifully and what it does best. So um, let's have a look uh, now at what led to where you are right now. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. What's in the recent past? What's in the past that's led to this? Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. So you've got the Ace of Cups has come out. So this is beautiful, darling. Um, the Ace of Cups, this is a gift given by God. This is a gift given by the divine. This comes in divine timing. And what I'm feeling with this is this Ace of Cups is about your connection to yourself, um, your, your love of yourself that in that very healthy, beautiful way. This is soul love. This is self-love. This is peaceful love, do you see, with the dove. And with the lotus flowers there, you've come through something that um, has been very dark and murky and emotional and, and but out of that has come these lotus flowers. And so you have come and you have grown so much and shifted and changed and your soul's evolving. And this is beautiful because spirit is simply reminding you about being the empress here and about not wanting to rush forward and speak your truth not wanting to rush back to the past to, to maybe slay a few dragons or to say things that are still hurt that are sitting inside of you. You've been given this ace of cups, this new cycle. 
and it's and it's a beautiful thing to happen and when because you have this new recent past and because spirit's reminding you this challenge about being this em empress what that's saying to me is you've entered this new cycle having shifted and changed and that's absolutely beautiful so i want to see uh, what's coming in for you in the next few steps in the future thank you spirit that wanted to come out look at this three of cups celebration um joy soul family um is there something wonderful happening you know with an event an anniversary whatever it is it's going to make you extremely happy and you know she's wearing the red here which is about being grounded and the blue there is about you know that ability to speak one's truth but doing it from a place of from the soul space from the heart space You've also got here the grapes here representing um, all of your manifestations as well. Um, and thank you, Spirit. Life is going to appear, I know this sounds a bit silly, but life's going to appear very neat and tidy. It's going to feel like it's um, simplified. Everything is sort of in its place. So that's lovely to see coming forward. So let's have a look at what your goals and aspirations are. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you and aspiration for those that need to hear it the most so you've got this seven of cups has come out so you you there is things that are still confusing you thank you spirit any more on that thank you and you've got the six of swords and you've got the seven of pentacles on the bottom of the deck okay so what this is saying to me with this knight of swords as well um in the center of your spread this perceived state of mind there is a little impatience with you at this current time about how fast things are moving for you. But this is where the universe wants to tell you that everything happens in divine timing, not just because it's divine timing, it's because it's divine timing for you. That means it's perfect timing for you and everything needs to fall into place. And there are so many things that need to happen sometimes that we're unaware of. And when they do happen in the right timing, that's when we go, oh, clever old universe, it's happened at exactly the right time. So with this seven of cups and this seven of pentacles, you see the seven of pentacles, is you are manifesting, my darling. And you know you're doing this as above, down below as well. But you're waiting for these pentacles, these realizations of your ideas, these hopes and dreams, to mature, to ripen, but they're not quite ready yet. But it's a reminder to you to be so grateful for those that have, for those manifestations, for your wishes and hopes and desires that have come in. The Seven of Cups, you see, the Seven of Cups is about being confused and having options. And it's a reminder that not necessarily, literally all that glitters is not gold. And it's a reminder to you that the universe works in mysterious ways. And there are opportunities as well. And when you are faced with problems, there's also opportunities, obviously, the universe is always giving you opportunities, always giving you signs and synchronicities, always sending into you soul family at exactly the right time for you. And it's, it's that reminder to you as well that whenever you're faced with what you feel is a problem, firstly, there's always a solution. Now, if you're not sure about how to get to that solution, then hand that problem to God, to the universe, and just say thank you. Thank you in advance for, for solving this for me. Thank you in advance for giving me the answer. Because that, this is your goals and aspirations, that will enable you to move forward. Move forward at that natural pace you see on that river, sorry, one little dog is a little restless. Um, rather than rushing forward and missing what's so extraordinary, amazing on this journey, is to move forward at that natural pace. And um, maybe <laughs> to move forward at that natural pace, I'm so sorry. And you don't know what's on the horizon, but you know you're leaning forward. You know that's where you need to be. And um, it's about your that one represents your passions or your desires and creativity and you're you're dipping it into the water and you're you're see guiding you're guiding the boat where it's going but you're not going you're not rushing forward you're you're just sort of gently navigating the waters there so um very interesting 
it's interesting because I said about slaying dragons, didn't I? I think I said about going back and slaying dragons in this card here. And also you see with the Seven of Cups, you've got this dragon here as well. Interesting enough, you know, dragons are around us and they're, they're sent to, they're there to protect us as well and to help us. So do ask your, you see, your guides will always try and guide you. Your guides will always send you signs and synchronicities. But ask your angels, your angels, you ask them and they will show you and they will come forward and show you what you need to know at the right time you may be dreaming quite a lot at the moment i know the world is a a, a very different place um but there is also so much good that comes out of of situations like this and take that time to reflect about what positive things had happened for you at this time um and and that will help you with your journey forward at the right pace you know you will literally put down these swords um and you will go at the more natural pace that the universe wishes you to go at so let's have a look because you've got so much joy coming in for you let's have a look at what's beneath you this is the feeling behind the feeling behind the feeling thank you spirit thank you well look at this my darling the nine of pentacles this is your soul speaking to you, okay? So the Nine of Pentacles, she is the um, <clears throat> minor arcana of the, of the Empress, okay? And you've got her right here as your challenge. So you are already the Empress, okay? You already have that within you. We all are Empresses. We all, our soul is the most beautiful, uncomplicated, loving loves us unconditionally wants the best for us just extraordinary you, your soul is extraordinary and your soul is that piece of universe your soul is is that piece of god and um so your soul wants to remind you to you, this is you as this nine of pentacles as well you are manifesting consciously and you know deep down you, it's step by step by step you're listening to your higher self um and that's absolutely beautiful. And when you listen to your higher self, you see the intent on her face and the understanding and the love as well. You, those, those, when you're listening to those feelings behind the feelings behind the feelings, this is what's enabling you to come away from being, which is what you wish to be, away from being, you know, confused with, with what to do and how to do it, to knowing that, that direction forward. Meditate, listen. Listen to the silence, as I said to you right at the beginning of this reading. Um, enjoy the silence. Know that time alone is time spent with God. So, um, okay, so let's have a look at some um, um, extra advice from Spirit for you. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. So, Five of Wands, stay away from any negative energies, I say. Stay away from any... It's about having direct perception of your life. Literally, the six of swords is direct perception, okay? Um, snakes, um, and there are snakes in here as well. Snakes can't hear, they can only see, but they're amazing at moving away from negativity around them, danger around them. And so snakes have that direct perception, and this is what Spirit's saying for you to do. Do not get involved in anything negative around you that upsets you learn how to say no, learn to, to, you know, this is you as the Nine of Pentacles and the Empress. Learn how, not learn, remember, always remember. We never really learn, we remember, our soul remembers. Um, remember to stand back and observe. You don't need to be involved in any, anything negative. You, you just need to, on the bottom of the deck, you've got this page of wands, which is about transition and messages. You just need to listen to yourself and, um, don't feel that you have to defend yourself either. Um, just remember that when you're in this place, this state, this state, this this is what's going to, this one one, this is all you need, that one one representing your passion, your desire, creativity, where you want to go. That's all you need to focus on. When you start to get um, everybody else's ones <laughs> involved in your life, what happens is, is everybody sees their life through their own perception, through their own lens of life. Now, that could be cloudy, more cloudy than yours, because of how they're feeling about themselves and issues they have about themselves. 
So just remember that you and only you live one second of your life and you and only you know yourself or getting to know yourself. And when you come to trust in yourself, you are the most important person in your life because only you can bring you happiness. And when you come to that place, as you're coming to as this empress, this nine of pentacles, then you don't need to have, um, you, you, you can literally glide through so much more at any period of your life that, that can trigger you. And so spirit is saying as well here, thank you spirit, that, you know, do not get, try and stay, not stay away. If you get triggered by something, understand it's been sent to heal you. Understand that trigger, that experience has been sent to help you heal from things you may not have healed from. But you know this, I can see this with this reading with you. It's a very beautiful reading. But try and stay away from, from arguments and negativity um, because it doesn't help you remain in your... You've shifted and changed so much. You're on a very high vortex. And so it doesn't help you when you get brought back into negative energies, whatever that may mean for you. I want to take a look at your soulmate now. Um, and it's important we focus on you quite a lot in this reading, but I want to take a look at your soulmate now and see where they are in relation to you. What, how are they thinking about you at this time? Thank you. <laughs> well, a lot. You've got the king of wands flew out. So there is an awful lot of thought going on about you. And they really are focused on that one wand. You know, this is their passion and their desire and their creativity, okay? And this is associated obviously with the fire element as well. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, they are really in deep thought. They, um, I feel like they're going around chasing their tail at the moment a little bit. Um, I feel that uh, they're not quite sure. Um, thank you. They're not quite sure um, who you are anymore. They know and they admire and respect who you are, but they're fascinated by you. Um, the white plumes here um, above their head is very interesting because white represents that purity, that serenity, that peace. And the plumes could be that sort of ego and pride because they're not getting up, they're, they're, they're sitting there thinking about you intensely. But the, the, it represents for me, the feathers represent obviously spiritual guidance, got a spirit around them, but also feathers, releasing feathers is releasing um, things that no longer serve us as well. So um, there is a battle going on within them, but they are, They've got these lines here on either side of them. They are being given, they're getting the strength and courage. They're getting whatever strength and courage they need um, to do something, to take action, which is very interesting. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the justice card. So the justice card is about things going in your favor, but the justice card is also about making a balanced decision and making it from a place, the right place, that white again, that purity, um, that understanding, um, a, a decision made from clarity, from truth as well with the sword. So that's very beautiful. Let me just find out a little bit more about your soulmate. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. And they're focusing, you know, I've got them, the King of Wands is absolutely focused on making a balanced decision, whatever that may mean for you at this time. Very important for them. They do this right and they do this fairly. Thank you, Spirit. And they equally are mirroring you. Look, the Seven of Cups has come out as well. So both of you, you're both dreaming about each other a lot. Um, it's... Do you remember I said it's already happened? Um, whatever you're manifesting, whatever you're hoping and desiring, the universe has already said yes. You may not have seen it because it's not the right time. It's divine timing. Um, and divine timing means at the right time for you, not just because the universe says it's divine timing, it's the right time for you. Um, but the Seven of Cups is, is um, do you see with this Seven of Cups as well, that this person has their arms open so they are very open to 
learning to growing as well. They're very open to receiving as well messages, which is which is, um, and they have they're going through a bit of a rebirth too, also with the snake here. And because you've both got the snakes, for me this talks about um, again that direct perception, and they're not listening so much to what's around them, but seeing. And that's that reminder for you to do the same, because if you're wanting to rush forward, whatever this is about it's you're you're slowing down this journey because you're stepping into negative energies but these two snakes here talk to me <clears throat> about because there's snakes on this wand as well i see too so there has been a lot of learning and growing that you've done with each other um there's been a lot of releasing that you've done and there's been some rebirth there's been a shift and change and because you've got this ace of cups that's what's so beautiful as well um I'm going to um, just put that back over there. Please tell me more about this soulmate. Thank you. Thank you. How do they feel about who they need to hear these messages today? Thank you. Look at this, the Wheel of Fortune. That was specifically for that. So the Wheel of Fortune is the end of an old cycle, beginning of a new cycle. No wonder you've got this Ace of Cups here in this, in this recent past. Um, this three of cups in the future, as I said, it could be a reconciliation as well. Um, the wheel of fortune is, as I said, the ending before a new beginning. It's that pause and reflect time the universe gives you before a new cycle happens. The wheel of fortune is about understanding as above, down below. The wheel of fortune in this particular wheel, do you see, you've got the outside wheel and then the inside wheel. So this is how I feel that they, there's a new beginning for you with your soulmate. And they are really thinking about how to do this from a balanced and fair way. Um, they are confused. It has already happened in the 5D. You just haven't seen it yet. That your souls already know. But um, they, um, it's beautiful with this, with this, this whole, uh, this whole wheel because it means that everything is happening at the pace that it's meant to happen okay so this this wheel is turning in your favor and and there is and i don't know why i was thinking this was the world card so this is really interesting because that's what spirit wants to say there has been an ending there is a new beginning thank you spirit the wheel is turning in your favor okay it is happening at the right pace it is happening at this pace that you're wanting it to happen at but it's about you letting go and allowing the wheel to turn at the pace it's meant to and it's about not sticking your spoke in the wheel and stopping it as well so your soulmate with this how they're seeing you is beautiful they're saying as i said they're so impressed so so they have so much respect for you um and they see that things are happening sorry they see that things are happening for you and torah means divine law it means divine timing um, and what this is also telling me is they're seeing that you're much more centered in one yourself because if you were to hang on the outside of the wheel and you would spin quite fast and so things have a habit of seeing, seeming quite overwhelming at times but when you're centered in oneself and you're seeing things and observing things from this empress from this nine of pentacles mode then you're in the center of that wheel and the wheel doesn't turn quite so fast but it is moving but you are feeling much more grounded and um, you're, you're not overcome by things so much because you're centered in oneself. You're in a place of peace. And that's a, that's a reminder for you as well. Um, anything else about your soulmate, please? Thank you. How they're seeing, who is listening to this reading today? Thank you. I've been asked actually to say, what are their intentions? Thank you, Spirit. So two of pentacles, two of pentacles and on the bottom of the deck, this is interesting. Okay, so this is lovely. So you've got the two of pentacles. They are overwhelmed at the moment. Okay, they're overwhelmed about what to do and how to do it. They're overwhelmed about this balance. You know, they wanted to do something from a balanced place with the justice card. But at the moment, things are not in balance for them. And so this is why this is divine law, divine timing for you because it's slowing down as well those ships coming in those manifestations but there is some but you're always connected however far you may have come apart like a 
um, elastic band. You know, you see here this the beautiful symbol here of the eight here, the infinity symbol. You've never really been apart. But look, what you see, you're the queen of swords as well. So this is why there's this nervousness here, because you, my darling, um, as this queen of swords, you have a, um, you know, you have come, the queen of swords is somebody who really does want to always be honest and truthful, wants to speak her truth, and will do so from a place of clarity and truth, will do so from a place of peace, and doesn't really want to entertain anybody who's coming with lots of red flags all over them, or is hiding behind a, a, a mask because they fear that if people saw the real them that they wouldn't like them because they don't like themselves. So the Queen of Swords will only entertain those that are emotionally available and want to come in and, and talk to them honestly and openly. And it's because of the transformation that they themselves have gone through. They've gone through something to get to this place. You see all the butterflies here as well. Um, and they're very guided by spirit. So there is that nervousness on behalf of your soulmate but you've also got the ace of swords has come out as well so this is the yes card from the universe and this is the card this is also the sword that that you're holding here as well okay so this is to me this is the yes card from the universe this is a double yes for whatever you're wanting to know this is also about divine timing as well because in your perceived state of mind you're the knight, knight and uh you knights about movement but the knight isn't the queen so this comes back to this wheel of fortune let the wheel turn because if you rush forward you have you could slow down this wheel you need to get out of the way of this sometimes because actually you're coming into this queen energy like the empress here you're coming into this queen energy and this is the right time this is divine timing this is when it's peaceful do you see with the olives there this is when that mountain is green as opposed to the snow mountain, which represents spirit blending. This is a new beginning as well. And there are some amazing things happening for you at this time. You've, you've gone through such transformation and you're getting such clarity yourself as well. And look now we've got, this is your, your soulmate here. This is in terms of, this is their pack in terms of how they're seeing you. You've got the four of wands. They, they're back, bowing down before you. It's not quite the right. They're in homage to you. Thank you. And look at you in receiving mode. It's the same as the empress there. This is beautiful. You've also got the two of cups as well. And there are the snakes too. There is a lot of, there's a, so much um, healing and things that have happened between you. There is still things that you're not wanting to see and they're not wanting to see. Do you see their eyes are closed there? But you have a huge amount of love for one another. So um, that's a very beautiful... And look, also, I missed this card, but it was sitting right there for me. The Three of Pentacles. They want to come in and build something new with you. And it's very important that that cornerstone of that foundation for the ten of pentacles so the three of pentacles is the foundation for the ten but this pentacle here this is the cornerstone of it and you see he's got one hand pointing up and one hand pointing down as above down below it's done the universe says it's done this ace of pentacles will come in at exactly the right time for you and exactly the right time for them and that is why it hasn't happened yet but they are doing so much work on themselves. Even though they may not be consciously aware they're manifesting this with you, I, I know they're thinking about you a great deal. I know they want to do something that's fair and balanced, but they are they're doing a lot of inner work at the moment. And Spirit is saying, as above, down below, it's taken care of, it's done. And that's, that's absolutely beautiful. I want to look at... Um, <clears throat> an outcome card uh, for you at this time. Thank you. And I wanted to tell you as well that, um, you know, where you are in relation to your goals and aspirations, you are as above and you're below, the feelings behind this, feelings behind the feelings, you're actually very much in sync. 
because you're the driving force behind you is this nine of pentacles this self-love this awareness of your connection with spirit with the divine and that's what's helping you move away from this confusion to the six of swords which is the direction you want to go and that six of swords is facing towards the outcome thank you spirit yeah this is just beautiful so you've got um there we are <laughs> you've got the page of pentacles and you've got the seven of pentacles has flown out and that makes the eight of pentacles which is working really hard both of you um i feel it's it's that eight of pentacles is that working hard on yourselves but the page this is this this is this pentacle it's coming this is a message that's coming and this page of pentacles is a message of transition okay and you see coming across the mountain now so this is beautiful. If you look at that Ace of Swords that we had, where did my Ace of Swords, I put it back in the deck, but that Ace of Swords was there with that beautiful green mountain. And you've got this, I think it's the Japanese cherry blossom in the background. This is spring. Maybe something's coming through in the spring for you, but it's a message Message that's going to bring, bring great happiness. That's the sun card there. Um, and I know, and it's very important actually this, this um, I saw poppies there on today's Remembrance Day, which is um, beautiful, but it's, it's I, I mean, given the word poppies, and poppies are about remembrance, and I feel that the, the memory of this love that you both shared has, reignite, has helped your soulmate as it's helped you kind of reignite the direction that they want to go in life, and that's to come forward. Um, and they're holding this this wheat sheaf as well. So this is this is their abundance. This is their manifestations. But I'm also feeling this is them saying, you know, I can do this. I can I can support you. I can look after you. I don't know if that's a particular message for somebody. Um, and you've got this seven of pentacles has has come out again. Um, and so this seven of pentacles again. You've had this with the seven of. Um, you've had lots of sevens now. This seven of pentacles is that reminder that it is all manifesting for you at exactly the right time. And um, and to not rush it, to not feel you need it rush. Don't rush this journey because the beauty of the journey is the journey itself. And God, the universe has an extraordinary to down moment for you. Um, and there is something very beautiful happening here with you and your soulmate. And again, I'm getting the spring as well with this card, which is beautiful. Um, and I'm getting the word holly, hollyhocks. I don't know if that means anything to anybody, but this is wonderful. And the purple in this card represents that uh, crown chakra and messages that are coming through. That Everything is happening at exactly the right time. And it's a reminder for you to be so grateful in the moment for what you do have, for what has come in. Uh, what has grown what has blossomed what has come to fruit so because it's all happening for you at exactly the right time I'm going to pull um some more cards for you uh from your pack with the outcome thank you spirit any more on the outcome seven of pentacles and the princess of pentacles thank you so you've got the ten of wands so that's lovely oh my goodness and you've got the ace of swords so this is very much Whatever the ten of ten of wands, sorry, not ten of swords, ten of wands. This is the end of and the beginning of because you've got this wheel as well. Um, the ten of wands is a reminder to you. This this is coming to the end of this cycle because something beautiful, something, some message of transition is coming in with regards to you and your soulmate. But it's a reminder for you as well, my darling, with this ten of wands to to release you you know you know you have this five of wands here as well and this is half of the ten so in order to um thank you spirit in order to allow the wheel to keep turning okay these spokes of negativity have to be removed from it and that's a reminder to you about not rushing forward if there's things that you wanted to do at this time it's not the right time to take action um and that you have your own part to play in, you know, this journey is about your self-love and you coming to a place of peace um, and understanding and also forgiveness of others and observing why people might 
behave the way they do and that first of all comes back to ourselves you know if we're broken instruments how can we observe another properly or how can we kind of um play with another in, a, in an orchestra but when we come to a place of healing ourselves but then we see everybody as the orchestra with us if that makes sense to somebody um but with this ten of wands it says remind to you that all you need is that one wand and all these other ones sometimes can be other people's energies these energies that are around you that you're carrying and it's and you're when you're in that state you're not able to see what's happening around you the magic of everything's happening around you it's also reminded to you about having healthy boundaries um and and learning to say no sometimes and um i know you're incredibly loyal but there's also you know you always remind to be loyal to yourself you know we we have a habit of speaking to ourselves far worse than we would to anybody else so that's a reminder there but this was what's lovely you've got this Ten of Wands in the outcome position. So it's the end of something. And you've got this page coming in, this page of pentacles um, and the seven of pentacles. It's already happened, darling. It's already as above, down below. It's taken care of. And some of the down below, they've already happened for you. Some of the other as above, they haven't yet. It's not yet the right time for them to come into fruit, but it is coming. Because look, again, you've got this Ace of Swords. You've now had two Ace of Swords and you've got an Ace of Cups. So this is, again, double yes from the universe. This is a gift given from God. Whatever this is coming in for you, this is absolutely beautiful. I want to pull for you just any other messages uh, from my, let's put those over there, um, from my um, uh, Celtic Tarot. Just see any other messages, uh, anything else uh, for this reading. Thank you. The Hierophant. Whatever this this relationship is um, with your soulmate, it is one of commitment. It's one of partnership. It's one that has been a spiritual journey for both of you. Thank you, Spirit. Anything else? Thank you. And you've got the death card. That's amazing. So this is nothing stops the death card. Okay, the death card is about releasing old conditioned ways of behavior. It's about new ways of behavior. It's about releasing things that no longer serve us. And out of that dark period comes beautiful new beginnings. And that's why you've got this lotus flower here as well, which is just lovely. And on the bottom of the deck, you've got the eight of wands. It's everything's happening at the pace that the universe wants to take it i'm getting spring again here with the um with the lambs as well and it's a reminder for you about nurturing yourself too and looking after yourself there may be children involved for a few of you but um this eight of wands is about communication it's about communication from the right place but it's also about communication from spirit for you it's about those receiving thoughts that are happening and that is what's this is why this death card is here because you've come through an extraordinary transformation and your soulmate is going through it too thank you any other messages thank you spirit <laughs> um they're just reaffirming that knight of swords so that's come out too for you here um and do you see this knight of swords i just want to have a look at this card for a second this Knight of Swords has this, it's a reminder to you, this, sort, this actual, this Knight is not rushing forward and he's got blue there, which is about speaking the truth. And that sword is lit up with light. So if you are wanting, as I said to you at the beginning of the reading, rather than rush forward, if you are wanting to speak, do it from a place of, of observing, do it from a place of receiving the right words. One of the things I always do is I'm going to have a conversation that, or um, just something where I know I need to have the right words for, I do say before the conversation, thank you, God, thank you, universe, for the right words. Thank you for giving me the words to say. And then I speak from my higher self, from my soul. And this is what spirit is saying for you to do and not rushing forward, which is very beautiful. Um, too many cards here. Let me just do 
but again, there we are. That's the card on the bottom of the deck. You've got the two of cups and a die. And do you see they're not quite touching? So this is a kiss that's already happened. This is a kiss that's about to happen. But whatever's happened, it's connected in the divine as above down below. It's already taken care of. This is beautiful. So I'm just going to pull for you now. Um, uh, what am I going to pull for you now? Some of my spirit song tarot, just to see what other messages there are for you for this reading. Thank you for this reading. What other messages do you have that wants to come out? The Hierophant again. And this is represented here by the eagle, the shaman. Beautiful, beautiful card, this card. Immediately, this is drawing my attention back to this five of wands, okay? About staying away from negative, negative energies. Um, the eagle, the only bird that attacks the eagle is the crow. And the eagle doesn't respond, doesn't fight back, doesn't try and get into a fight at all. All the eagle does is fly higher and higher and higher. And he has a bigger lung capacity, so that in the end the crow falls away. So it's a reminder to you, you don't need to respond negatively to achieve. Nobody listens to anybody else when they're talking from anger and frustration. They only listen from a place of peace and truth and, and talking from one's higher self. So this is a reminder to you about that, that the more you elevate, the more you shift and change, the more you don't respond, the more you rather than rushing in just be as the empress the more your your um the journey sh it doesn't shorten because it's all about the journey but the eagle also can fly so high that the distance underneath doesn't seem quite so long does it so it's almost like you can surpass the the rather than going low if you're going higher the journey the journey moves the wheel turns quicker thank you spirit i don't know if i've said that correctly but i think you understand what i mean by that so that is that's beautiful um and on the bottom of the deck <laughs> we have the page of shells which is the page of cups there is a message coming this is a message of transition as well um you know frogs are about um they live on earth and water as well. So it's that transition between the two. Um, and um, <laughs> what I'm getting is that, you know, the page of, of cups is somebody generally coming forward with an apology and they feel a little awkward, a little uncomfortable doing it. And they might only be able to croak out the words like the frog, but underneath there's a prince. And all you have to do, my darling, is receive them with an openness, with a gentleness, um, and not be fearful of it as the queen of swords, not close off your heart chakra, because when you're open to love, when you trust in it, and when you um, allow it, then you might kiss your frog and that frog may turn into a prince. So that's the sort of, you, you're, you're allowing the change to happen. Um, and don't, don't be closed off from what's happened in the past. Um, Whoever's coming forward to you literally has a heart brimming with love. Um, and they may not know how to say it properly, but they do. Uh, and they want to literally jump at the chance to express their feelings to you. At the moment, they're in this King of Wands where they're sitting and thinking about how to do this, how to do it right, how to do it right. Um, so that's very lovely. Um, but just remember that thing about the frog and the prince they won't turn into the prince unless you allow yourself to um if you're there in a very five of one space that's not going to happen if you're there with with that open and honesty and you're there with forgiveness if it's somebody from the past um because it's with the understanding that people when they do things that hurt others they don't do it intentionally just they do it from their own place of pain and their own um, way they perceive life as well so allow yourself to maybe kiss that frog and see what happens um, so uh, let's have a look now as well I wanted to just pull some major arcanas for you thank you spirit for this reading for whoever needs to hear it thank you this is from my dream tarot thank you so you've got here the high priestess um, and there has been anything else thank you spirit i 
and strength. Beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. Beautiful messages for you. So the high priestess and the strength. First of all, with the high priestess, again, this is um, this is about being silent. This is about observing. This is about trusting in your um, inner truth, trusting in your knowing about things. It's about the connection with the divine. It's about the wisdom with the owl there, it's messages that you might be receiving. Um, at night time, it's about listening to what's important to you. That's this scroll here. And the, and the fruit here represents that spiritual growth, enlightenment. And this is all divine law, divine timing. Um, and listen, you know, allow that third eye chakra, listen to those thoughts that give you such clarity and knowing those aha, those are your receiving thoughts. That's God talking to you, the universe talking to you. And again, another reminder to you, don't rush forward with things from the wrong space. Take the time to pause and reflect and speak your truth. Don't do things from a negative space because um, it's not going to it's just going to grind you to a halt. That wheel is going to grind to a halt. This strength card, you see how, you know, she's gently just touching on all of those animals there. She's not dealing with them from a place of strength, physical strength, or trying to overpower them. She's done it with just that simple touch of love. She's done it from that simple inner light within herself. And so she, without... It's that gentle, gentle, gentleness about her. And that's spirit saying that strength can be in, in being vulnerable, being open, being gentle, being listening, and also being guided by yourself, being guided by doing things from the heart space, doing things from the soul space. Um, just beautiful. And lastly, I'm just going to pull for you some angel answers. Um, and see what they have for you today. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. What answers do you have for whoever's listening today? Thank you. Abundance. Beautiful. So that's about you being, seeing abundance in so many things in your life. Um, it's about I am grateful, being I am grateful the whole time. You have abundance coming in. This is beautiful. You, you, know, you had all these seven of pentacles. You've got the wheel. You've got the empress. You're manifesting. Um, beautiful. You've also got no need to worry, which is just lovely. Um, but that reminder about being grateful for everything you do have now. Thank you, spirit. And look, there we are within the next few months. So maybe that is spring for some of you. But that's just wonderful. Um, and uh, you've also on the bottom book in the near future. So whatever you're manifesting, my darling, whatever you're manifesting with your soulmate, you have had this double yes from the universe. You've got a wonderful Ace of Cups, New Beginning, um, Empress. It's all there, but it's all happening for you at exactly the right time for you. So there is no need to worry. We, God, the universe, know when things when it's the right time for us and everything is literally being orchestrated you are the center of your own universe and everything is being orchestrated at this time just for you and just for you and your soulmates so i hope this helped whoever um was guided to listen to this reading um and i will be doing the star sign readings um later on this week next weekend for the for the middle of the month um and uh, but in the meantime i may pop on again and do another um general collective reading uh, for those who need to hear it the most but anyway have a lovely sunday evening my darlings and i look forward to catching up with you again soon take care bye bye